Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back out in the garden with my scope set up and I'm really excited by the video this week because I'm going to be working with two amazing astrophotographers, Joe from Joe's Astro Photo and Glenn from Astro Bloke. And we're going to be photographing the same target, the Crescent Nebula, and then we're going to be pulling all of our data together to produce one final image. So join me in this video this week while I photograph the Crescent Nebula. Okay, so like I said, this video is going to be a collaboration between Joe, Glenn and myself. And I'm absolutely delighted that they've asked me to, to get involved in one of these. Now they've done a quite a few uh, together in the past and their images and the videos have been absolutely incredible. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what we can uh, produce between the three of us. Now um, we're all collecting uh, images on the same target, the Crescent Nebula, and we're going to pull all of that data together um, and hopefully have quite a lot of data, quite a few hours on on the crescent. I'm hoping we can get close to about 20 hours between us. Um, hopefully the weather clears up a little bit and we can we can all collect some good good data. Um, but I'm really excited to see what the final image is going to look like. I've never collected so many hours on one target, so it should be a, should be a really good image. Now I was going to very quickly run through my setup tonight, um, but it's just started to drizzle and there's a really really dark cloud um, up above. So I'm just going to wait for that to pass over and then. I come back outside and I'll show you what I'm using to collect my data tonight. Um, but in the meantime, I just wanted to show you the state of my garden at the moment. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how crazy our garden's got at the moment. We're doing no mow May, which is where you don't cut your grass through the month of May. And that's great for all the wildlife, the insects, the bees, etc. And over here you can see it's getting quite long. But then the other side of the garden you can see that the grass is completely out of control. So I think this is because no mo May has coincided with the wettest May in history as well in the UK. Um, so the wettest May on record. But as you can see, it is getting out of control at the moment. It is really thick, starting to, to get up um, above our garden furniture. It's actually so thick now that that Alfie can't even walk through it, he has to jump through it. Um, but still, hopefully we get no more rain and then I can cut it in June. But if you see the garden looking in a bit of a state, that is why. Okay, so that rain cloud has now passed over and I just thought I'd show you a quick rundown of the gear I'm gonna be using tonight. So, telescopes, the Skywatcher 190 Maxitov Newtonian. It's got a thousand millimeter focal length. I'm going to be shooting with a different mono camera tonight. I usually use the 1600, um, but I have got rid of that one and I have the 2600 on top of this telescope. So really excited to be using this for the first time. I've got the 3.5 nanometer Antilla fil and narrowband filters in there. So the HA-03 and S2. I'm only going to be using the HA and the O3 for this target. I've got the 290 guide cam, the mini guide cam from ZWA, a generic 60mm guide scope, and that is all being controlled with the ASI Air Pro. Uh, the mount is the NEQ6 Pro. So yeah, that's my setup tonight. Um, really excited to be using the 2600 for the first time. Um, so yeah, that's kind of all I've got to show you now. I just need to wait for it to get dark, um, then I'll come back out and I'll show you how the data collection is going. Hi Russell and Joe. So for uh, our collaboration on the Crescent Nebula, I'm gonna be using my 294mm Pro. I've got uh, HA and O3 chroma filters at three nanometers each, so we're doing HOO image. I'm gonna be doing five minute subs, and I'm gonna be using my Altair Astro RC8. I'm going to have the 0.75 reducer on it so it's going to bring it down to 1219 millimeters and take it from f8 to f6 so hopefully we should be able to grab some lovely data so I'm going to stick this back on the mount now 
and uh, tonight is due to be clear so we're going to get some data and I'm really looking forward to what we can produce between us. I'll speak to you later. Hi Russell and Glenn. Just real quick, what I plan to do tonight is use the Edge HD8 and the 0.7 reducer to make it an effective focal length of 1422 millimeters at f7. I plan on using the 294 mm Pro with an HA Astrodon 5 nanometer filter and a Chroma Oxygen 3 3 nanometer filter. I'll be using the off axis guider as you can see with a ASI 174 mm mini as the guide cam and the ZWO EAF attached to the Edge HD8. Hopefully I'll be able to get 10 minute long ex sub exposures and I'm probably going to go for at least uh, six hours of, of each HA and oxygen. And while I have you both here, I just wanted to say thanks for the invite and I hope that uh, my subs make a good contribution to our final image. Good luck guys. Okay, so I'm collecting data on the Crescent Nebula and I will put that up on screen now so you can see how it's looking. Um, but I'm really happy with the first exposure which has just come in. So I'm collecting oxygen data tonight and I'm doing five minute sub exposures. I wanted to try and push that to seven or 10 minutes but it's really quite windy tonight. So um, I thought I'd better play it a little bit safe. Um, but you can still see quite a bit of detail in the Crescent, which is really good for, for five minute exposures, especially with the oxygen filter. It's not completely dark yet and there is some cloud still about, so hopefully when if that cloud passes the exposures will look even better as well. Now I'm using the um, multi-star guiding on the ASIF for the very first time and so far it looks really good. My um, Guiding has been quite consistent around the 0 0.6, 0 0.7 mark, which is pretty good for me with a big scope, um, especially on a windy night. Um, usually I get a little bit of fluctuations with the guiding, so it's usually around 0 0.6 and then it goes up to 1 or 1.2. Um, so yeah, so the guiding's looking quite consistent, which is really good. So hopefully I get a few hours of data tonight. It's not, like I said, it's not going to be clear all night. I'm not expecting to get three or four hours worth of data, but if I can get one, one and a half hours, maybe I'll be quite happy. And I'm really excited just to see how the um, oxygen looks on the new camera. Okay, so that's all I've got tonight. I will let the camera collect some data and then I'll pick up the video in the next few nights. Okay, so it's the next night and I'm back outside trying to capture more data on the Crescent Nebula. Last night I was really pleased with what I actually managed to capture. I got just under two hours, I got 22 five minute sub exposures with the oxygen filter and I quickly stacked that and I'm absolutely delighted with how good that's looking already. So there's already a huge amount of um, detail in that Crescent Nebula with just under two hours worth of data. Um, so I'm really pleased with how this camera is performing and I'm really pleased with the filters. Um, on the filters, there's absolutely no haloing with the oxygen filter which is great my old zwo narrowband filters had awful haloing especially with the oxygen filter so i'm really pleased to, to see that there's no haloing on the oxygen filter with the antilla 3.5 nanometer filters so tonight i'm going to try and capture some more data it's really cloudy at the moment i just about managed to to polar align tonight through the clouds um, but it's not looking good at all and the forecast is really patchy tonight so I don't think I'm going to get as much data but I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to stick with the, the O2 filter to try and capture more of that and add to the stack um, but I will obviously let you know how I'm getting on. I've set up a uh, time lapse behind me with my little GoPro camera so I will show you how much cloud goes over um, hopefully it does stay clear.
So I was really pleased that I was able to capture 11 hours of data on the target. I'm quite happy with the final image. I think I need to re-edit it though because I think I pushed those colour sliders a little bit too far. Um, but I will give that a go um, over the next few weeks. But I'm more excited to see what we can do together with all of our data combined. And between us, Joe, Glenn and myself were able to capture 30 hours of data on this target. And we actually got together one Sunday and spent two and a half hours on Zoom editing this image. So we're going to jump into Zoom now and see what we came up with. Oh, hi, Russell. Hi, Glenn. Hi, mate. Hi, Jay. Hey, uh, you ready to get started yeah, on our editing? Yeah, all good. All good. Yeah, awesome. Good. All right, let's jump in. I'm, I'll share my screen and then we'll uh, we'll start editing. Finally get this data put into a image. <laughs> Excited to see the result. So, Joe, you're driving, yeah? Oh, yeah. I've already got all of our masters into uh, uh, into two images. You're on the screen, so we're ready to go. Uh, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> 